Hey guys, MTG Girl here. Uh, now I've got for you, we've got Stonemaier Games Food Crate to open up today. Uh, so this is another, I think this is a third of the Stonemaier Games treasure chests. These are little boxes full of premium beautiful components that you can throw in and replace other components with in your board games. So a lot, these are all components that are pretty your know, resources that are standard across a lot of games. So this has just got a bunch of different types of food. Um, let's see, we've got corn, grain, bread, a crate, which could be anything, uh, coffee, and steak. Coffee! Love coffee. All right. <laughs> um, so there's a number of Euro games that use these different components. So this will really be a nice upgrade to your gaming experience. So let's crack it open and take a look inside the food crate. Alright, just gently and carefully take care of that shrink. Okay. It's even got the box inspected by 314. Hmm. I wonder what that number's for. Uh, so my games, they've got a lot of little inside jokes that go on with their uh, their games and designs. Oh no, this is the same. The resource vault had this problem too. This box is hard to open, um, which is good for keeping your pieces from opening up and rolling all around, but really hard to get open. These could really benefit from a th little thumb hole getting cut out there. This is so tight. All right, see if I do a better job this time. Work it up. Get it open. The cardboard here has got this nice matte finish, and I don't know if that's helping or hurting. They've really done a nice job of dressing these up. There's not a lot of, you know, um, unnecessary graphics on here. Just, you know, really plays into to feel like you're opening up a crate of food. Okay, so here we have inside <laughs> these little steaks. Oh, they are so cute. Okay, all right, so let's start from right here with our all-purpose crates. These could be just about anything, whatever you say is in the crate, just shipping goods or really versatile uh, component here. So, get our focus. There we go. These little crates. So, as with the other resources, the, there's definitely a bottom. There's a flat, unsculpted bottom. Um, but they've still got the nice aging treatment, so you really don't notice all that much. And just look at those little crates. <laughs> those little miniaturized. They, oh my goodness, they even have little divots where you can see where the boards would have been nailed into place. You can see those. <laughs> A lot of detail and thought went into these sculpts. Cool, and the aging has really has made the in-between the slats so much darker that you could even like feel like you can maybe peek inside the crate. What's inside there? Take a look. Oh, cool. Little boxes. I want to stack them up. I want to see if they can. I can build a tower out of them. I'm that person at the gaming table who stacks up my meeples and makes little cheer towers out of them. <laughs> oh, they do! They stack up! Oh, that's going to be too much fun. Alright. Playing with my toys here. Get back in there. Okay, and again, the insert here uh, is the same with the resource vault, but different from the first treasure chest. Uh, the insert is just the hard plastic without that... Um, velveteen, which I think I prefer. The velveteen was flaking off a little bit, but a really nice effect um, to make it feel like you know, something of value. So, let's see. oh my gosh, these little corn. Oh, the green husk like really shines. Look at that in there. Oh, how cool. Nice little, although the husk has just been peeled back. Get that 
This looks like the husk has really been peeled back so that you can check inside the corn there and see. It's like when you're at the grocery store. Check and see if you've got a good ear. <laughs> Just peek at the top. Oh, so cool. These like big fat ears of corn. I just want to throw these on the grill and have dinner tonight. <laughs> Tasty, don't eat these. Seriously. Like, choking hazard. Okay, guys? Anyone watching this under the age of three, these are not food. You don't eat these, okay? <laughs> Even if you're over the age of three. Any age, do not eat these. Even though they look like you could eat them. Oh, I love the shine to the paint on these. So pretty. Okay, little ears of corn. What do we have here? Stacks of grain. So they've been given a lot of the same treatment that the, uh, come back here, a lot of the same treatment that the cloth bags had. They look very similar, but they've been opened up to reveal a little grain inside. Looks like the painting job is a little irregular on some of these. A little yellow got on the bag, and they're rolling all over the place. I have such small hands, I can't hold everything. <laughs> Keep falling out. But nice little detail on those little grains. Wow. Very little sculpts. Okay. On to we have steak. These just light up. They're so bright and tasty looking. Although I don't know if I've ever seen a steak with like the fat so bright white. <laughs> look at that. Oh, they look. Listen. That sound it feels like it may be a different material. I don't know. Um, maybe just the way that they've been cut. Got a little in bone steaks here. Ready to just. Again, I've got a barbecue going on. Let's just throw these on the grill and get cooking. Okay, little steaks. And bread. Little rustic Italian loaves of bread. <gasps> Ooh, pretty color. Ooh, pretty color. I've got the score marks on the top. Very pretty. This little round, <laughs> little round loaves, nice little fat loaves. Okay. And coffee, my favorite resource. Oh. So these are not miniaturized. Everything else here is pretty much miniaturized versions. And these are like to life scale here, except they have a flat bottom. But take a look at those little coffee beans. I can almost smell them. Almost. Can't really. But look at the shine is just the right level. Like it just a lot of care put into making these look as realistic as possible. Very nice. Okay, well that is Stonemeyer Games Food Crate. Little realistic uh, components that you can replace your other uh, game components with. So if you like my video then let me know with a little thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. I've got the last Stonemaier Games Treasure Trust to open up uh, the Energy Box. I think that's the most recent one. Pretty exciting, different stuff in that one. So go ahead and subscribe. I've got links down below to all the other Treasure Chests that I opened up. 
and check out my other unboxing videos. I do uh, board games, so thanks for watching. Bye!